So we've included some guidelines for dealing with freelancers, um, just in case you aren't going to use us and you need to like farm something out too. Uh, a freelancer where we're not, we didn't give you too many because you, each institution deals with freelancers the way that they see fit. Um, but um, there are some guidelines that we would suggest, and it's something along the lines of what Tim had said a long time ago, but it bears repeating now, where, for example, if we're working in the well formed document workflow, make sure you tell your freelancers that they're, to keep things the way they are. Do not let them introduce like errors that are going to create issues later on. Um, and that the, the best way that you can avoid that is by having that communication, right? Um, you compose the file before sending it to a freelancer. Um, that way, you know, you're not leaving it to them. Or if you're doing sort of the, the way that we're not used to working, but it's still feasible. If the freelancer is editing, don't let them use any styles or anything like that. Just say, just edit, and then we'll compose things on our end um, over here, right? Or you can have us compose the, uh, the file for you. Uh, make sure you provide freelancers just as you would provide authors with um, information, uh, guidelines, style guides, samples, whatever is necessary to make sure that they stay um, on track, right? You don't want to just say, here's a file to a freelancer and then that's it. You want to be able to say, hey, this is what I'm expecting, just as you would with your authors. Um, you know, make sure that the freelancer uses track changes, that they're not just sending you a file that's edited. Um, and then the most important thing, even though it's the last thing on the, that guideline, um, that little guideline list, um, is to ask a freelancer for a sample of the work um, early on. Uh, that way you can see what they're doing. Uh, you do not, like this is like a worst case scenario, you don't, do not want to blindly send something to a freelancer, then have that come back um, and it's completely wrong or it's completely not what you expected. Um, that is a nightmare scenario because then now you have to scramble against your schedule, against like what you've told the author and all this other stuff. So, um, you know, um, I don't know if Karen wants to um, jump into say anything about like how we deal with freelancers in the OTN, but I would assume it's how we deal with things here at Scribe, which is we use them, we try to use them sparingly, but um, if that's the case, um, then we make sure that you, we provide as much information as possible.